Of 138 competitors, only seven starters at the Route de Rum this year will be women. There are more and more women sailing and they're sailing at a much higher level. There aren't necessarily many of them though, but I'm happy to bet that not only will women be on the different class podiums, but that the Amoka class will be won by a woman. So I'm pretty positive overall that things are going in the right direction. Simplicity is the very essence of the route de rum. One sailor, one boat and the ocean. Fundamentals are especially evident in the rum monos and rum multi-categories. That's any 8 to 22 meter boat, recent or vintage, that doesn't fit into a typical ocean racing class. This is where passionate amateurs rub shoulders with sailing's big names. Jean-Pierre Dick is a monohull favourite aboard a 52 foot racer. I'm returning to the race in awe. This class has a great bunch of sailors and some legendary boats, which I'm looking forward to taking on. Behind Dick will be a race in sepia. Arno Penaround, the helm of Penduic 3, a monohull from 1967. Wilfred Clerton on Critter 8, a boat that's taking part in its sixth route to rum. Meanwhile, the multi-hulls are full of stars. Philippe Poupon on Florence Artaud's former Pierre Premier is expected to be fastest when he lines up against the cats of Roland Jourdan, Marc Guimau and Gwen Chaplin. Sure, it's a bit of a senior class, but we're going to have a good fight. It's going to be fun. A new legendary addition is looking likely. 